Okay, so let's talk about the Prime Battle LR First Form Frieza's Extreme Z Awakening and just how good it actually is. Now, I'm gonna start here with a quick overview of his pre-EZA details so you guys can do a comparison. His leader skill was all types, attack plus 7000, super attack 12 key was colossal damage, 18 key was mega colossal damage, and lowers attack and defense, and passive was attack plus 13,000, defense plus 5,000 at the start of the turn. And he originally came out um, on December 28th, 2016. Now, his Extreme Z Awakening gives him a leader skill of Extreme Class Q plus 4, HP, Attack and Defense plus 90%, or Super Class Q plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 70%, 12 key super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, that's 50%, and causes colossal damage, and the 18 key causes mega colossal damage, and greatly lowers attack and defense. His passive is attack and defense plus 50%, plus an additional key plus 3 and defense plus 50%, as the first or third attacker in a turn, plus an additional attack plus 50%, when performing an ultra super attack, plus an additional key plus three when attacking super class enemies. So there you go, that is the first form Frieza's Extreme Z Awakening. His stats of course remain exactly the same, 21,680 attack, 19,400 defense, or sorry, HP, and 12,050 defense, which for a free to play unit is ridiculous. So. Now the question becomes, right, how good is this EZA? How does it stack up to the uh, LR Super Saiyan Goku's Extreme Z Awakening? And also just compared to other free-to-play LRs in the game. And I would say he is extremely, extremely good. No pun intended, I just realized it now because it's an Extreme Z Awakening, but he's just extremely good, guys, okay? In fact, I would say that he is now the best free-to-play unit in the entire game. If you guys need some numbers to back it up, we're gonna pop over to the Dokkan subreddit where Reddit user uh, Kariru2 has provided us with some calculations for his defense as well as attack per turn. Okay, so his optimal or optimal team is the Enhanced Transformation or Transformation Boost slash Conquest of Terror team led by double SDR coolers, 20 crit and 6 additional in the hidden potential system, and universe's most malevolent big bad bosses, there's for conquest, and metamorphosis with a 100% uptime, 67% uptime on the additional 3 key passive, of course the additional defense boost from being in the first or third slot, and also a 22 key average, and his supported defense is 204,253, which is really really good but more impressively his supported attack per turn is 10 million four hundred and eighty two thousand and forty four yeah um he's a free-to-play unit guys now i know it's gonna take a lot of work to get him done okay he is definitely the hardest free-to-play unit in the game to obtain because you gotta get your Prime Battle Goku done, and then him fully Extreme Z Awaken. To Extreme Z Awaken him, you have to get six other units fully Extreme Z Awaken and Rainbowed, and then you also have to farm him, and then farm a bunch of other units and EZA them, and then farm his Extreme Z Awakening medals. So the entire process has got to take at least like, I don't know, even with boosts, it must be like 20 hours or something like that. I don't know, I didn't do the calculations, but it is just a really crazy grind if you're starting from nothing to get this guy, you know, done and capable of doing things like this. But with that said, he's insane. That is a crazy, crazy Extreme Z Awakening. I mean, I can't say overall I'm that surprised because uh, I did expect him to be um, absolutely wild with the EZA. So I guess I'm more so just happy that they didn't screw him up, they made him as good as he was supposed to be, and yo, for my JP players out there, get to work, man. Yo, make this guy your priority, get him done as soon as possible, you will not regret it. That being said, it's gonna be a grind, good luck. And yo, after seeing this, I just can't wait for the LR Androids Extreme Z Awakening. You guys know how much I love the Androids, especially Android 18. And uh, seeing, you know, how good they made this EZA, how good they made the LR Gohan EZA, and the LR Super Saiyan Goku EZA, 
Uh, the LR Androids are probably going to be pretty insane too. The Androids theme is already one of my favorite teams in the game, and it's only going to get even better with that easy A. But realistically, I think the next free to play Extreme Z Awakening will probably be LR Trunks. Although, it might be too soon for another Prime Battle. Like Trunks, Vegeta, Krillin will all get their easy A's at some point, right? But um, especially Krillin, like he doesn't need one right now, so I don't see Krillin happening until like at least a year in the future. Maybe the Super Battle Road, the Int Goku, might get his EZA soon, but uh, we'll see. Either way, I, I like the direction they're taking with these free-to-play EZAs. Um, this guy is going to out-damage like, most units in the game, most summonable units, most LRs actually. With the exception of some of the newer ones, this guy is going to be out-damaging most of the older LRs, obviously most TURs in the game, and uh, yeah, he's a beast. I'm very, very happy with how he turned out, but uh, that's just my opinion, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the LR Prime Battle Frieza's Extreme Sea Awakening. Do you think that it is good enough for how difficult it is to actually acquire him, or do you think it's just right? Because I do think it's just right. I think it's insane, which is, to me, just right, since that's what I was hoping for and expecting. Anyways, that is going to be the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.